Okay, before starting, the title of this video was inspired by Kaizen's video released a few months ago. I will leave the video in the description, so definitely check that one out as well. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to create this procedural rust. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a simple tank truck. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you my workflow of interior designs in Blender. Yo, what is up? I'm Blender Solo. I've been using Blender for well over two years. I started my own YouTube channel exactly a year ago. And today I decided to share my Blender journey with you, how I started all the way to the present. So be sure to like and subscribe, get a cup of tea and some cookies and relax as I tell you how Blender became my casual daily activity. The first time I heard about Blender was about 5 years ago when my older brother got his first ever graphics card that could run Blender. I think it was a GT1030. I had absolutely no clue what it was. Like imagine telling a 9 year old what CGI is. Of course he wouldn't know. I didn't know what Blender is used for nor did I know what 3D is. I was a typical 9 year old then. I had my old crappy Android tablet, though I was very happy with it. I was watching Minecraft Let's Plays, playing car driving simulator, today's kids wouldn't know, so I didn't really care that much about Blender. I would sometimes try it on my brother's PC, but I still didn't understand it. Fast forward to 2021, it's my birthday and I get a GT1030 for Blender, just like my brother. I just can't describe how happy I was, finally my first ever PC that could run games. And Blender, yeah of course I was only playing games on it. But that had its good effect as well, it's winter 2022, I'm playing World of Tanks with my best friend. Get down, Mr. President. Bro, <laughs> and we were having lots of fun that time. We were playing almost every day. I can't describe how careless and easy it was at that time. Anyways, as a Christmas gift to my friend, I got two tanks, and believe me or not, one particular tank changed my life. It was the Bofors Turnwang. I'm pretty sure you don't know what that is, but that doesn't matter. I love that tank so much, so much, that I decided to model it in Blender. I can mark this as my first key checkpoint in Blender, because it looked very good, honestly. At least to me. My dad also said that it looks promising, which motivated me even more to continue doing Blender. I was also introduced to Orion, which is still to this day my role model in 3D. I have learned a lot of stuff from him and I suggest you check out his channel as well, link is in the description. After the Tornvon model, my dad offered me to do 3D interior design rendering for him, in exchange for a small payout for each work. I was 13 years old at that time so you can imagine my face when I realized that I can start making money at such a young age. And of course I agreed. I started modeling weapons also, which became my niche in a matter of time. And I also started my own YouTube channel, Blender Solo, on which you're watching this video right now. I was uploading weapon modeling time lapses, and I do that to this day actually. Since I started my channel, more people got interested in my work, and I had a few clients. One particular one that I remember was a Car 98 and an OTS 9 from Call of Duty Warzone. The client wanted a 3D print ready models to put it on his wall. I did it for him for a small price of course, but I didn't get any results images, but I believe everything worked and the client was happy. So yeah, if you have any requests, you can always email me and we can discuss. And this one's gonna be pretty quick, since there's not much going on right now. It's 2024, a year since I created my channel. I achieved my first big milestone of 1000 subscribers. 
and as of my progress, I see a massive improvement, but I still have a lot, a lot to learn. I also got my hands on Substance Painter, which made my model quality look much better. As I said, I'm still making private interior design renders. I also see a lot of improvement there. Right now, I'm learning 2D CAD and planning to learn 3D CAD as well, since it opens more doors into CGI industry. So, this is it. This is my Blender journey. One thing I want to say, it is worth it to learn Blender. It's worth it to dedicate your free time into learning 3D. 3D opens a lot of opportunities and gives you another skill that can decide your profession in the future, for example. And remember, it's never late to start. Anyways, you can join up our fresh Discord community in the description. And be sure to like and subscribe because I have plenty more for you in the future. Anyways, Blender Solo out.